and so far there is a battle up front for the lead slowing dramatically. Oh, trouble. Car number 46 all of a sudden drops off the pace once the leader of the event. Why do you have a tire going down? It could be the case because he is just literally come to a halt. Where the weakness of there the he goes. Rapano, and there it is, deep into turn number three. They but come together. Enough. Rafano gets a little bit loose, gathers it back. Pedal to the metal all the way to the bottom of turn number one. Steven Kopsik by inches. But is Rafano is battling back almost up against the concrete barrier. Pending for the fifth, sixth, and seventh position. Back up front, Michael Bennett is reeling in on the back bump oh, of Corey. They, they touch. touch. They come off the turn, they gather it back, and Michael Bennett tries to muscle his way to the inside. Brand new leader emerges, Michael Bennett, but Wayne Corey continues to dig in the outside. Bennett, the leader of the band, off the turn, making some noise in second. Three wide for the third spot. Here comes Charland, car number one. Charland with a podium finish one week ago has lit something under the hood of that shark. Motorsports, Todd Owens prepared number one. He pulls into third, battling on the outside. Look how deep Charlan takes it into the corner. And now he's uh, trying to bid after Megan Fuller. Look at Charlan. He comes off the fourth turn like he was shot out of a bow. All of a sudden, Bob Charlan, the wicked power sports machine, is looking just that, wicked. They say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, Bob Charland learned a trick a week ago. But if Andrew Moeller has anything to say about it, it will not be Michael Bennett's night. Less than a half a lap to go. Looking to the outside, Bennett covers. But here comes Moeller, and Bennett slams the door. Moeller weasels his way in. They trade paint. They are locked together. And they are locked together. Across the stripe, here they come. And it will be. Michael, Michael Bennett. Bennett.